One of the hardest things I'm learning through my small art business is to pace myself. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy running my business, but I really struggle with my patience. There's a lot of energy and ideas that come with my creativity, but a sense of urgency for some reason. I'm not sure if that's because I feel like if I don't accomplish all my goals fast enough, I'll fail, or I'm still shaking some bad habits from my former corporate job. Maybe a combination of both. Whatever it is, I can see that the artist way is bringing these insecurities to light, and it's been hard to face. However, I realize that it's a necessary part of the process if I want to continue to live this creative lifestyle and avoid burnout. I think I'm gonna put some of my sculptures in there. Whether I'm gonna keep them or sell them, that's just one of the places they'll live just so they look nice and displayed instead of being like in a random container. When I decided to pursue my passion, I hoped to grow quickly, but that's not really how that works. Seeing other creators online can be discouraging, since it feels like they're racing by when I feel like a little turtle just chugging along. But I realized that when I focus on my own growth, I can see it more clearly. So here's how I avoid disappointing myself. Set realistic goals every day. And when I say realistic, I mean the amount of goals each day. Two to three have worked best for me. So on a given day, I might set three goals. Start a sculpture, edit a short, upload new products. You get the idea, but not too many. Rome wasn't built in a day, folks, and neither is my art business. I messed this one up. I put this like brown line on him, but the back of it was just like not it for me. I am gonna paint him and try and save him. I don't think this is a piece to the list online, so I think I'm gonna make a new version for next time. I also realized that after my first artist date, I want to treat these dates as a way to relax and fill my well of creativity. So I went to a coffee shop and started my first drawing of a strawberry monster for my fruit monster series. I eventually want to turn these drawings into stickers, prints, and maybe even pins in the future. Right now I only offer handmade clay items in my shop but want to expand with 2D artwork and cheaper price points so it can be available to more people. I'm prepping for an upcoming art show that showcases my dad's work and my sculptures. This show is centered around butterflies, beaches, and beauty. So I decided to turn my dad's butterfly watercolors into earrings. But I also want to make time to work on my fruit monster series. My goal is to have mostly fruit monster themed items in my shop, some video game characters, and pieces inspired by my dad's artwork. But I wonder sometimes if I spread myself too thin with all of my goals and commitments. Remember the two to three tasks a day? Well, I have a hard time sticking to that. I can set myself up for failure with everything I wanna get done in such a small amount of time. I'm learning that breaking bad habits and replacing them with good ones is just done through continued practice. There's no quick fix or magical formula. I will say that the morning pages and artist dates are helping with this, but doesn't solve my issue of patience. The best advice I can give from what I know now is to just keep going. Try to enjoy each moment. Really appreciate your every accomplishment, no matter how small, and don't take things too seriously. When I look at my artwork when I first started to now, I can really see how much I've grown. I'm just trying to live my best life being a little turtle artist and stop trying to keep up with all those hairs.